In this video, we are going to talk about consecutive integers. Integers which follow each other in order without gaps from smallest to largest are basically called consecutive integers and they can take all these forms. 12, 13, 14 and 15 are consecutive integers. 12, 14, 16, 18 are consecutive even integers. Then you can have odd integers as well like 11, 13, 15 and 17. I did talk about consecutive integers uh, during the statistics lecture, but I touched very briefly uh, on it. In this video, I'm going to talk about these in detail and there are some very important concepts that you must remember about consecutive integers. Three most important things are these. This is the first one that you should remember that the average of consecutive integers is first term plus last term divided by two. So if we have this series, the average should be first term. You don't need to all add all these up and then divide by four. If you have like 100 terms, what will you do? You simply add the first term plus the last term and then divide it by two, which in this scenario should be 12 plus 15 divided by two will give us the mean, which in this scenario is 13.5. You can add these up, divide by 4, you will get the same answer. Similarly, the average of this series will be 11 plus 17 divided by 2, whatever the answer. The second most important thing that you need to remember is this. For a consecutive series, median equals average, mean equals median. For any consecutive series, please remember that the average is equal to the middle term mean equals median. This is the second thing that you need to remember. And the third is this, the sum. Sum of consecutive integers is basically average into number of integers or median into number of integers because mean equals median. So these are the three most important things you should remember whenever we are talking about consecutive integers. Let's now have a look at a couple of questions. What is the sum of 11 consecutive integers if the middle one is 30? Middle one is 30. This is basically median. And we also have the number of integers. So you simply apply this formula. That is median into number of integers will give us the sum. So the sum should be median, that is 30, into number of integers, that is 11. The answer should be 330, which is option choice C. Let's have a look at this interesting question. If the median of a list of 30 consecutive odd integers is 120, what is the greatest integer in the list? Now, there are a couple of very important things that are given in the question. And the most important is this number. So if you analyze, we have got consecutive odd integers, but our median is an even integer. How is that possible? Let's have a look. So median is, the formula for median is n plus 1 divided by 2. We've got 30 numbers, 30 plus 1 divided by 2. That means the median is the average of 15th plus 16th term. That will give us the median. That is the reason we are getting an even integer. That means the 15th integer should be 15th integer is 119, it needs to be an odd integer and the 16th integer is basically 121. You add these up, what do you get? 119 plus 121 divided by 2 will give you 120, that's the median. So we have our 16th term, now we can calculate the greatest integer. If we have to go to 30th term, that means we are basically looking at the greatest integer should be greatest integer should be 121 plus we've got 14 other terms but it's an odd integer series so we have plus 14 into 2 this will basically give us the greatest integer and the answer should be 149 that is option choice c next question if the sum of consecutive integers from minus 30 to x inclusive is 96, what is the value of x? Now, this is interesting. So, we need to write down all the numbers. 
no that will cost us a lot of time let's have a look at this so we have minus 30 plus minus 29 plus minus 28 plus all these numbers plus 0 then we have the positive numbers plus 1 plus 2 3 4 5 plus 29 plus 30 now if you add all these up you should get 0 because the numbers on the left hand side all these numbers are basically negative and all these numbers on the positive side are positive so these will add up to 0 that's something that you need to understand now we need to go further from 30 and add up the numbers since we get 96 so we will get 31 over here plus 31 these are all the numbers the, that I have written over here plus 31 plus 32 plus 33 will basically give us 96 you add these up you will get 96 so the greatest number over here is 33 that should be our answer which is option choice D another interesting question that you can get is how many integers are there in this series you do a similar practice and then count the series so let's say I've got numbers from minus 1 till minus 30, you've got 30 integers, right? And similarly, from 1 till 30, you've got 30 integers over here as well. You need to add 0 as well. That's like your 1 integer. So, so far, we've got 30 plus 30, 60, 61 integers. But we've got these three terms as well. So, 31, 32, 33, 34. This series has basically... 34 terms this is something that you should also keep in mind